What's going on everybody? It's Cody here from Tidewee. Today I want to take a second of your time to talk about our Tidewee heated waders. Now we have two sets of heated waders. We have a 1200 gram breathable pair of waders and we also have an 800 gram neoprene wader both that are heated. Now because they are heated waders, you are gonna get a battery pack along with these waders. And today I wanna show you how you're gonna utilize this battery pack to heat the heating elements inside of the waders themselves. So right now, I have the neoprene set of heated waders on. Basically how these neoprene waders are set up are the heating elements are inside of the chest pocket on these waders. So on the inside of these waders, I'll show you guys in a second, there's a little chest pocket in there with heating elements in it. It's basically just a hand muff for you to put your hands in, keep yourself warm uh, while you're waiting for ducks to arrive, maybe you're wading through water, fishing, whatever it may be, just wanna make sure your hands are staying warm. So that's what those heating elements inside of that muff will do. So if I turn these waders inside out, you can see this is actually the heated part of these neoprene waders. Uh, once again, this is turned inside out. On the inside of that muff, you can tell you got a nice wool liner, nice wool material in there. Um, basically to complement that heating element that's inside of there, that wool kind of help absorb some of that heat and hold it in there a little bit longer than it, if it was just kind of plain neoprene. Let's go ahead, show you guys where you plug this battery pack into the waders and how it actually heats this pocket inside of the neoprene waders. Here, if you go ahead and pull these waders inside out here, on the left hand side, you're gonna see a little zippered pocket. If we go ahead and unzip that pocket, you're gonna expose a little USB outlet. Uh, basically, all you're gonna do with that USB cord is you're gonna plug it into the USB input on that battery pack. By plugging it in, that battery pack's gonna light up. As you can tell, this one's lighting up 100. That means there's 100% battery life left on this battery pack itself. So now that this battery pack is plugged in, we can actually insert it into this pocket. There's enough room for that battery pack to sit in there. And you can zip this shut and then pull the waders back up, buckle them up. Once you get everything buckled up, the battery's installed. The next part is simple. Um, as you can tell on these neoprene waders, you're gonna have a button right on the front side of your chest there. All you're gonna do is go ahead, push that button and hold it. By holding it, you're gonna illuminate a red light on that button. That red light is letting you know that these waders are now heating at a high setting. So if you give it a couple of seconds, put your hands into that heated element muff there, you're gonna be able to feel that element start warming up. It's gonna happen rather quickly. Now, there are three different settings on this heated element. You can use a high setting, a medium setting, and a low setting. And to change those settings is also very simple. By clicking this button once, you'll go to a medium setting, that light will then turn white. And if you click it one more time, that light will illuminate blue. That blue light is letting you know that the waders are now heating on a low setting. Um, you'll basically get about eight to 10 hours on that low setting, five to six hours on the medium setting, and roughly three hours on that high setting. And when you're done hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever it may be, to turn these waders off is again, very simple. All you're gonna do is click and hold that button until the light is no longer illuminated. When that light is off, that's letting you know that the waders are no longer being heated by that battery pack. 